Welcome to the Genetech Clearance educational video series. Clearance is an application that is designed to streamline processes so that investigations can be closed faster while ensuring the security of data. This series objective is to demonstrate how Genetech Clearance addresses use cases that are particular to certain industries when it comes to digital evidence management and everything that revolves around it. In this video, we'll look at how clearance can be used by transit authorities to streamline request management and improve efficiencies. Clearance is currently used by many large public transportation agencies around the world. As such, we're conscious of the distinct challenges that the industry is facing and how our application can address them. Public transportation has its own unique set of characteristics. The most common challenges are often the result of how large the operating networks are. They have a direct impact on the number of vehicles and routes, the breadth of stations and infrastructure, and are also a driver behind the complex ecosystems that rules the interactions between regional and local agencies and their operating companies. Let's talk about the first challenge the transit agencies face, being able to collect and review digital evidence, whether it's been recorded on the security system spread across an organization's network or from third parties. In a large metropolitan area, we have a regional governing agency at the top of the hierarchy with local and operating companies below it. Since the infrastructure was built and expanded over several decades, there's frequently a lack of standardization when it comes to video management systems and devices used within the stations and vehicles across an agency. The security department or transit PD needs to collect a variety of evidence files across sources. It can be from the disparate systems in stations or deployed on vehicles or from body wearable cameras, which are gaining in popularity. In some instances, it's even the images or recordings from employees or passenger cell phones. With clearance, files can be aggregated in a single case. With support for many common and proprietary formats, the application allows for the security department to receive video from multiple sources and review the evidence in application. Operators using Security Center can quickly export evidence from security desk to clearance in a few clicks. It allows users to upload the relevant recordings to clearance by creating a case or associating it to an existing one. Meanwhile, for non-Genetech systems, operators can upload files from their computers and devices with our desktop uploader. This can be used for camera systems that are deployed on buses, rail vehicles, or in stations. Instead of sending an operator to extract evidence on USB drive or DVD, the evidence is uploaded directly from the computer. Local operators access the recordings and from their laptops, send the files to a case in clearance. It makes it easy to upload hours of footage. A different evidence collection challenge comes in the form of finding complementary evidence when camera coverage is lacking or incomplete. The file request feature can be used to retrieve video captured by passengers or onlookers without giving them access to the case, generate a link, and promote it publicly. It will redirect recipients to an upload portal where they'll be able to submit their recordings so that they become available to the investigators much more efficiently. There are also situations where you'd want to have a list of potential camera locations that you could work with that could also complement an investigation. An example can be businesses within your own stations who own their own camera systems to protect their properties. These systems can be enlisted as participants in a camera registry and then receive your request to submit any video evidence that they might have. Clearance supports the enrollment of participants by allowing the creation of a custom contact details form that will capture the information. Once enrolled, these participating cameras will appear in a camera registry. From this point on, operators can submit requests to these cameras. The owners then receive an email notification with a link to an upload portal where the evidence can be shared directly back to clearance. This brings us to the second challenge that needs to be addressed, which is operational efficiency and governance. Before we get into evidence collection, the process often starts with requests for videos initiated by a stakeholder outside of the security department. Let's think of a scenario where there are two distinct incidents being reviewed. The first one involves other departments within the agencies, legal and operations, that are investigating the claims of a passenger that wants to sue for falling down the stairs while an escalator was in maintenance. The people within these departments are given access to clearance to submit video requests. Perhaps they know which cameras might be associated to the incident, but it's likely that they don't. In any instance, the user, let's take a member of the legal department, begins the process of submitting a request. The intake form allows the agency to collect the necessary information that will help the approver determine the validity of the request. Different request form templates can be set up so that information collected is relevant to each scenario. Once submitted, the request is sent to a user within the security team who has been tasked as an approver. This person can review the request and determine whether to approve it or not. If approved, this will automatically create a new case as well as a request file link. When cameras connected to Security Center are included in the request, the footage will automatically be added to the case once approved. 
The second incident involves the participation of law enforcement. A detective is looking for evidence in relation to a criminal investigation of an incident that happened in the vicinity of a station. The detective can be granted access to clearance to submit requests for videos. After the request's approval, a Transit Authority employee who has collected the video evidence relating to the incident can upload the files to the case. In a situation where a transit agency has monitored an incident for which they want to involve the police, an operator could also share the case proactively with someone at the PD. Clearance allows users with managed rights to add a guest user to the case. In a few clicks, a detective could be invited. In either situation, our officers would receive an email notification to access the case, and will be able to review the evidence and download files to their computer. The third challenge relates to data privacy. Growing concerns about privacy are changing the ways events are monitored and incidents investigated. This means having the tools to redact subjects from a video to satisfy regulation requirements. The intuitive design of Clearance's built-in video editor allows redaction to be completed within minutes as it can be accomplished within the platform and doesn't require any advanced editing skills. This helps keep the identity of your commuters private, even while allowing for detailed investigations into events. It ensures that data subject access requests and requests for information can be completed in a shorter period, lessening the amount of work placed on your security department. In conclusion, clearance helps tackle the largest challenges that transit agencies encounter when it comes to evidence management. It consolidates all the data in a single location regardless of hardware, including from vehicles, body wearable cameras, or mobile phones. It makes it very easy to share evidence with the people that need it within the agency or with external parties like law enforcement. Additionally, the app's functionalities also make it easier to manage requests for videos and obtain evidence from third parties or the public. To top it off, the built-in video editor shortens the amount of time needed to process data subject access requests and information requests so that the agency stays compliant and avoids negative outcomes.